I don't know about you, but isolation has been extremely frustrating. Oh yeah, Pokemon show of the year. It's mint. So, so. But the coronavirus cases have gone down, which is a good thing. I mean, except Victoria. But in New South Wales, we're allowed to travel within our state borders and we're allowed to go 50 kilometers away from home. So a couple weeks ago, we decided to do a day trip to the Blue Mountains with a few friends and just take some photos. I brought along my old reliable Canon A1 with the kit lens, the 50 millimeter 1.8 lens, which I've been running for about a year now, as well as some Fujifilm Superior Premium 400 ISO film. What a mouthful. <laughs> My girlfriend Steph also brought along a Lomography simple use camera, which is a disposable. She had the black and white version. It was expired uh, by three months, but I don't think it made a difference. We first stopped by the Blackheath Antique Center, where I loaded up my Canon A1 in the car park and took a couple of shots inside. There was a few odd items, including this painting of some extremely crooked backs. Kind of like me editing this footage. There was also this cool little Kodak film box, as well as a Ricoh 35ZF camera. Uh, I didn't make any purchases though, and to be honest, I regret nothing. From there we headed to Mount Blackheath nearby where I just started snapping. This is where we film Cooper dying. This is actually go viral. <laughs> After that we went to Katoomba for some fried chicken and lunch, then Lura for some candy shopping, where this mad lad, Cockatoo, noticed I had a big digital camera and wanted in on that. Cockatoos and native Australian birds I could photograph to the day I die. They will never get old for me. From there I picked up another friend who lived up that way, Cameron. 
and uh, we gave his dog Nelly a little scrimpchina scramch. Scrimchy scramch. After a bit of the scrimchy scramch action, we uh, headed to Lincoln Rock, which is a great little sunset spot. And uh, I shot the rest of my roll there. And that was it, film roll finished. So, what are my thoughts on Fujifilm Superior Premium 400 ISO film? Well, it's a good film. It is super high quality and I think I'm in love. I'm still figuring out what constitutes a good film, but the grain level on it was low, sharp, the color rendering in it, I liked. It didn't didn't overly warm my images kind of sat in a neutral tone and there was nice boosts in the greens as per usual with Fuji you know I think my main complaint and only true complaint is price but when Portra 400 is $15.50 in Australia and this Fuji premium 400 is $20 you're looking at a quarter increase for something I think is much the same I went to the Blue Mountains one year ago with my Canon A1 and I shot Portra 400 and yeah, it's warm, yeah, it's got a different look to it, but the quality is just the same. Say you're doing a project which required what Fujifilm offered, then you would choose that, but otherwise, Portra wins again. Anyways, that's my opinion on Fujifilm Premium Superior Extra Ultimate Best ever 400 ISO film. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. I'm also kind of curious if the price is just like that in Australia. If your price is different, let me know. Maybe this film's cheaper in Japan. Maybe it's only because such limited stock comes in from Japan. I don't know. If someone can clarify, that'd be epic. Also, if you're into video games and funny little compilations and stuff like that, I'm gonna link Cameron's YouTube channel down below. His videos always make me giggle and his little laugh is so infectious. Thank you my friends who came along and let me jam my camera in their face. Luke, Cooper, Cameron and Steph. Thanks so much for watching and being here, sharing the love. I love you.